What's up everybody, it's the Super Saiyan 4 Gamer back here with more Let's Play. Let's replay Donkey Kong Country. Let's get started with Minecart Carnage and as you can see we are already rolling. Not much to say about this level, just avoid enemies, enemies or crashed carts that may be on the track and you should be fine. And avoid the pitfalls of course. Not much to it at all. And we get a um, on guard animal buddy bonus level. I think I get about like maybe I get about five lives here. I don't remember. Somewhere around there, close enough. I'm not, I'm not very good at this bonus level just cause, you know, it's, it involves swimming and, you know, swimming obviously isn't as fast as, um, running on land. <coughs> I think, yeah, this is probably the only bonus level that I'm not very good at. Nope, I, I only get four lives because I don't I don't think I make 500 here. No, I definitely don't make 500. Oh well, four lives. And as you can see, I have more lives than I did before, and that's because I forgot to save. But I had a better run getting back here than I did getting to this point in the last video. Now, the unfortunate part about these bonus levels is that, at least in this stage, it starts you all the way back at the beginning of the level, which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. It works for me. When I was a kid, the crash carts always used to get me, one way or another. Like, especially right there, I would always die to those freaking crash carts. It's like, damn it! Come to think of it, I actually, I actually prefer post-commentary now that I think about it. Because... Because when I do post commentary, it allows me to play the game without having to talk, which means I can play a lot better than I would if I were talking during playing. So, or while while playing, I should say. And I I so thought I was gonna get hit right there. All right, finish that level. Bouncy bonanza. the second cave level of the game except this one's more of a pinkish purple cave instead of the orange yellowish cave in the, in the first world the main enemies here are zingers and they can kill you if you're not careful obviously Yes, and I, I stupidly, yes, I know there's a bonus level there, and as you can see, I stupidly broke the barrel that I needed to break the wall, because I wasn't paying attention, but oh well, I'll probably get that bonus barrel, or that bonus level at an off-screen point. And uh, back to the back to what I was saying about commentary. Yeah, I like post commentary better, but for some games, I'm gonna try to do live commentary because some games I think live commentary works a lot better. Ooh. 
you know. But like I said in the first video, doing live commentary with Roxio is more of a pain in the ass than it should be. Cause I gotta open up and I gotta open up a program outside of Roxio, then I gotta hit the record and capture button at the same time. Then I gotta sync the audio up with the visuals and uh No thanks. But like I said, I will I will give it a shot with some games. Almost done with this level. I do some pretty sweet moves. Jumping off Linky and hitting the ground, causing the banana to pop out. That's pretty sweet. I can't count the number of times I've died doing that. And I thought I thought I screwed myself up on this bonus level. Like sometimes when I'm trying to get into this bonus level, sometimes I jump too far out and not high enough, which causes me to obviously fall to my death. So yeah. Now stop and go station. There was a, there was a secret exit back there that I didn't bother showing because we're not gonna take the secret exit. We're gonna take the man's way out, bitch. Now uh, the main enemies of this level are called Croc Rocks, and as you can see, the only way to stop their movement is to hit these barrels to where it says stop. Because, trust me, you do not want to deal with them when they're up and moving about. Roll to get the O here. Missed it the first time, but got it the second time. Now this is pretty pro right here. A lot of times I screw up on this. But today it was a perfect, a perfect playthrough of that bonus level. And I believe there's another, yep, there's another bonus level right here. It's just like the one in Millstone Mayhem. And we get a Winky the Frog bonus level did pretty well on this one. I got like six or seven lives. I can't remember. I think it was six. At, you know, at first I thought I was going the wrong way, but it turns out I was going the right way. I was just delirious. Yep, it was six lives. Cause I got five here, then I forget about those three right there, hanging right there. Yeah, then I jump back down and try to grab as many as I can. I'm always afraid, I'm always afraid I'm gonna, like, freak out and fall. Like, cause, God knows I've done that before I, like, freaked out that I thought, I thought they were gonna wake up, but they weren't. I ended up killing myself, trying to get away from them. You know, Diddy, Diddy would commit suicide because he would be so terrified of the croc rocks. He sees no point in living anymore. Uh, okay. For some reason I thought we already did Millstone Mayhem, but I guess I'm an idiot. Okay, so what I should have said was this bonus level is a lot like the one in Stop and Go Station. Instead, it was, instead I said it in reverse. I hate, the, I hate those freaking 
hamster wheel things in uh, the Temple Tempest level, but that level's not till a bit later. Now, obviously, you want to spell rare, and I don't think they could have made it any simpler. You hit the letters that are blinking, and if you hit the ones that are not blinking, you will fail the level. You will be mocked and ridiculed by the developers of this game for failing such a simple minigame, but, sad to say, I've done it before. Don't judge me. Don't judge me, damn you! Alright. Obviously that bonus level was similar to the one in uh, Rompey Rampage. If you remember. You know, e even... Even though I've been playing this game for years, I've learned the hard way, even nowadays, never to take any of these levels lightly because the second you do, they will kill you. Like, how dare you take me lightly? Here's a surprise for you. Die! Um, so, yeah, uh, the levels, the levels are living beings that will kill you if you take them lightly. I love Winky because he can jump so freaking high. And I always lose Winky here because of his high jumping. Like, I, th I can only remember like three times out of the years that I've been playing this game that I've made it past Winky. That was some death, this is some death defying shit right here. All right, we're done with Millstone Mayhem. And we move on to the boss of World 2, Neki's Nuts. So basically just hop on the bird's head every time she spits a nut at you. This bird sure got a lot of nuts in her mouth, just like Miley Cyrus. Yes, I went there. You know, it's, speaking of Miley Cyrus, it's like... How did she go from a pure, wholesome Disney actress to a complete slut? But I guess that's what Disney does to you. It, it expects you to be so kitty, and then after you get, get away from Disney, you turn into a slut. But anyway, um, on to Vulture Culture. Uh, so basically this is your first forest level of the game. And not much to say here, except uh, it involves a lot of barrel shooting, and the main problem here is bouncing off the neckies just right so you won't fall into the hole and die. Um, and, you know, obviously you want to avoid the enemies that are on the little patches of land that you get. Bonus level here. Um, yeah, so basically, there's, these are normal clap traps. I was about to say crap traps. Um, yeah, normal clap traps, but they are uh, they are more powerful. And the more you hit them, the more bananas they spit out at you. And when you finally destroy them, you get an extra life balloon. Birds feel like taking a dump all over Diddy and Donkey Kong because they're evil like that. Like, you're a monkey, so you like to throw your poo. Well, how about I take a poo on you from above? I'm always afraid I'm gonna die during do doing one of these um, necky jumps. So I always feel like, you know, 
my hand gonna slip from being nervous or something? I don't know. And we are almost at the end of the video, a little bit after this bonus level. So I'd like to take the time now to say this has been the Super Saiyan 4 Gamer uh, replaying Donkey Kong Country. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell other people about me on YouTube. And a lot of you viewers should be happy since I've stopped using my camcorder to record my Let's Plays. See you next time as we do Treetop Town. Later.